So today's video is about multi-tools and about this model in particular that I recently got. It's the Swiss Tech 11-in-1 multi-tool and I was very curious about this one because I was hoping it to be much lighter than for instance my Leatherman Wave. The Wave is a really good tool, it's very high quality, um, has a lot of features, it's probably the most popular model from Leatherman um, and I can see why, but it is heavy and it is bulky, I would say. And um, I was hoping this model here would be much lighter because first it lacks the plier head and secondly it lacks the second handle. And um, when I got this, I was really surprised by how much lighter it actually is. I mean, this is all steel, no plastic. Um, but still it's much lighter and yeah, this is what I was hoping for and I'm glad it turned out to be this way. Um, before I, I'm going to talk about this multi-tool in particular, I would like to talk a little bit about the packaging because here you can see two annoying things, at least these are annoying to me. First you see this warranty lifetime and I would expect the knife to be backed up for life if I see something like that. But if you consult the manual that this tool comes with, you can clearly see right here that it's only backed up for three months. So why putting this here if it's only backed up for three months? I don't really understand. For me, this is kind of cheating. I don't really like it and I don't really understand why they are doing it. Um, because at least buyers like me will be repelled by something like that, to be honest. And the second thing is that you can clearly see here Swiss craftsmanship. I don't know this for a fact, but I'm very, very sure that this tool, this package has never seen Switzerland and um, has nothing to do with Swiss craftsmanship. I mean, why not being honest? The Chinese, they know how to do things right if they want to. And uh, I think you should be proud of yourself, of your country and of a good quality product. And if you are delivering something like that, don't pretend it has anything to do with another country. But apart from that, I think that this tool is very interesting, very interesting. And let's talk a little bit about it. So I will go through every tool and we will start with the blade. The blade is a liner locking blade, you can see here. It's executed quite well. And you can probably tell here is an indentation and this comes from my harness tester and I, I know that harness is not everything. Um, it doesn't tell you too much about the heat treatment, but I think it's a good indication of whether or not you have something decent of it's just stamped can metal. And in this case, the blade run runs about 57. So it's quite decent, um, especially Considering the steel, I don't think that you can get this 8CR 13 MOV much harder. The steel is it's very popular with budget knives in China. Um, for instance, the Spyderco Tenacious is very popular for already decades. And it's made of the same steel, so no, no complaints here. The blade was not that sharp when I got it, um, but it was sharp enough to cut paper. I mean, I'm very picky, picky when it comes to sharpness. I want something that is razor sharp. And this was not really razor sharp, but it was sharp enough to do your everyday stuff. And for me, it's not a big issue to sharpen it. The multi-tool also features a saw that I also measured. And this was um, considerably less hard. It was um, 48. But I think this is still hard enough. I measured a Victorinox saw and this runs about 50, so not a huge um, difference here. It is reasonably sharp and it is also pretty much the same size as um, the saw on my, uh, on my wave tool. What I really like about this multi-tool is that it features a bit driver. 
and you have this double sided bit here and it really locks in no railing it's very very sturdy and also people complain about that this um, bit driver is not locking but i think the detent spring or whatever you would call this here is strong enough that this should not collapse on you unless you want it to of course you can insert all kinds of bits in here if you have the regular ones they will probably be a little bit deep but you can insert a magnet or glue something in it so it will be like this on the other side we have and this is also something that i was very interested in because i will use it for opening packages this kind of rope cutter um, it's sharp not razor sharp but very very sharp sharp enough i would say and you also have this kind of um, screwdriver you have your can and bottle opener here's something that i was that I, I found quite annoying they did not really pay too much attention when grinding it i tried it it works but it's rather blunt so you have to apply a lot of force and i don't really see why for me it's not a big different uh, not a big deal because i have a belt grinder i can grind it down but it would have been nice if they did it right the first time and we also have a set of scissors here works great um, no complaints here sharp enough um, pretty pretty similar to your scissors that you find on uh, swiss army knives i believe at least it's very similar to the leatherman wave scissor works good the handle here was a little bit um, crooked when I got it so I had to apply some force but now now it's all good yeah and the last feature is the ruler you have here your metric and your imperial measurements I think that's quite nice it's not stamped but laser etched but I'm pretty sure that this will hold up um, for a very long time so no no issues here lastly you have this clip and what i really think is interesting is that for the clip of the victorinox spirit you pay the same price as you do for this entire package which was 18 bucks and i think if i had to spend 18 bucks on a clip or this tool i would go for this tool any day of the week i think it's a very very good tool of course there are some downsides that i mentioned but overall this is something that i will probably keep for the rest of my life unless of course some defects turn out but i'm very positive i tried um, every part appears to be steel i, I use the magnet and um, i'm very very optimistic that this will hold up for quite a long time. Here you can see what I did to the blade. While I really think it was a decent backup knife, I simply couldn't resist to make the edge slicier by thinning it out. A bonus is that the strange divots that the manufacturer ground in are now gone. The edge geometry is now perfect and the best I've ever had on a multi-tool. I also gave the can open a treat. I sharpened it quite a bit since I'm going to use it as a box cutter, which might not be the best idea if you would like to keep using it as a can opener, because it will now become dull rather quickly. I really like it the way it is now because it is much more useful for my application. Again you can see the divot of my harness tester here. What I really like is the fact that the designer of this product put in some thought because he implemented a stopper that prevents the blade from hitting steel every time the knife gets closed. Mistakes like that I've seen on much more expensive blades and it is positive 
to see that this was avoided in this product as you can see in the picture. So I hope you like this review. I hope you like this tool. Um, get it while it lasts. Enjoy. Have a nice day. Bye bye.